Hi guys. I wanted to jump and make a really fast tutorial on how to add some fun Google fonts um, to your Google Docs. I know that there are plenty of tutorials out there on how to add fonts to Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint, but the workaround to get new fonts onto your Google Apps is actually much easier thanks to Google. So as always, I'm using Google Chrome. If you want to see the exact same thing as me, that's what you need to do. I am operating on a MacBook, so just keep that in mind. Now, what I have right in front of me now is just a Google Doc with the default font here, how to get fun fonts for Google Apps. Now, I've had this problem a lot where I prefer to use Google Docs, but I end up using Microsoft Word more often because I do have more font options and I've downloaded a bunch there. Now I started looking into it and trying to find a way around that and I learned about Google Fonts. And if you didn't know about this, this is gonna be something great. If you already know about it, you know, I did my best. So right here you can see, and when I click on this, it's already going to look different than yours because I've downloaded some fonts already. But normally they have a select, it's about 20 fonts that they offer you in the Google Apps that are already there. If you want to add more, what you can do is first go to fonts.google.com. And I'm already in there, so I'll just show you how easy fonts.google.com. And it will take you right here. Now what they've done is they've come up with this random sentence to be their sample to show you how each font looks in a sentence. So if you were trying to find a font for a specific bulletin board or a specific purpose, you might want to right here where it says type something, type what you actually want to print and then go ahead and look through the different samples that they have here. So once you're looking through them and you find a font that you like, all you will do is look at the name here. Let's say we use this one in the middle, for example. Alada, I'm probably saying that wrong. When I go into Google Docs, and again, if you're not familiar with Google, just go to docs.google.com, or you can go to the traditional Google search. And then over here, we have our icon for all of the Google apps. My computer is just very slow today. And right here, you'll find the Google Docs icon and click on that. So once I am there, oops, I forgot the name already, Alada. Okay, so when you go over here, let's highlight the text that we want to change. And I click on this down arrow. That font is not already in here. It's not one that they selected to be a default. So you click on more fonts. Once you're here, you can find all of the fonts that you just found on Google Fonts. So I will type that one in. I'll just click on it. And once I click OK, it will be added into my font drop down right here for future use. And it also already changed the font that I had highlighted. So once you go through and you find more, let's say we choose Oswald. So we would come back to the Google Doc. Once again, click on more fonts. Oswald is right there and we will add it. Over here on the right, you can see all of the ones that I have added that I've found and I really like. Um, you will find yours over there to get rid of them. Let's say you add one by accident, you can just click on the little X right next to it and it'll leave. So we've added this one and click OK. Now we didn't have the text highlighted so it didn't change it this time, but now I can highlight it and go into the drop down and find that one that we just added right here and it's changed. And it's really just as simple as that. If you are looking for specific type looking fonts, for example, they have their categories. I love handwriting fonts. So I might start by unchecking all of the other options and then looking through the handwriting fonts. Some of these are so fun and cute, but just take some time to explore it, find the ones that you like, just keep in mind that the more fonts you add, it is adding things into your profile. So it does slow things down a little bit if you add a ton of them. So try to pick a couple favorites, swap them out, get rid of ones you don't use and have some fun with it. I hope this was really helpful.